the control room. I got the fucking how did we all meet question. Uh, <laughs> that. From the top. Okay. Right, well, Let's I, speed run it. Okay, uh, me, me and Sam and Hank went to the same high school. I mean, I actually met Hank in Talent uh, Skate Park when I was like very, very young. Like he gave me this look and he was like, I'm Hank. He's <laughs> <laughs> probably so just saying out. what's up. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly. And I was super embarrassed because we were fucking cool. But then uh, you had eight. That was that. They said I'm cool. I met I met Juju uh, playing soccer probably, and that like, I was super intimidated by him because he was like, he just seemed really good, and uh. Dick. I met Samba because Sam hit me up one night and wanted me to come to Samba's house to sing backgrounds on one of his songs, and I was, like, really fucking scared, but it ended up being really fun. Hmm. Uh, I met Swank the night you recorded Red Rum. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, that's when you met? Yeah, that was the first time that's we met. Wow. I know. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. What was your worst show? Oh, I got the, I know, 100%. Which one? Corday, my nigga. Oh yeah, Corday. our worst show was probably when we opened for Corday in what Quebec. It was in Ottawa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We thought that we were opening for Corday, but what really happened is we opened for. Maybe well, technically, we, <laughs> we opened like, for Corday, but thirty niggas yeah, opened like for us. Ten or twelve <laughs> acts before us, yeah. or something like that. That um, you know, that we had no idea about, and then the promoter was like nowhere to be found. Some dude had like a a mask with. But like tax, tax in it. He was like making himself crazy. bleed and rapping, and that was like his yeah. thing. And yeah. after that, we didn't. Even, I think we did one song. We did and then two. Uh, we did chilies and ripstick. And then, and then, and then, well, then nobody, did. everybody was booing because they, it had been like an hour. Well, they were shouting they Corday when Corday. we were about to go on, and like because there was a hundred openers. And Can't so we even just, blame them. We went no, to some like chicken spot or something and spent our whole show check, and we're like, fuck this. If you could have front row seats to any concert, who would you like to see? Like of all time. Or like just like yeah, dead or present. alive. Okay. Yeah, well, why not? The scope of this. Fuck it, anyone ever. Yeah. Fuck man, that's like impossible. Um, the first one that came to mind is John Coltrane and Miles Davis, and just like I a mean, small yeah, room. dude. I would love to have fucking seen that. That, that would be crazy. Fucking sick. But also, I'm not gonna lie, I don't particularly like concerts that much. I feel like y'all know that about me. I just like yeah. get. Uncomfortable. You chose being, the wildest. Yeah, show. like no. I, well, I actually don't <laughs> mind like being at our shows at all as much as I mind just going to concerts. It's just like not my first favorite thing to do. So mm. uh, that's why I choose something like kind of smaller but still really energetic. Yeah. What's the genre of music from your childhood you gravitated to most? I mean, naturally, hip hop, rap. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff though. I always feel like that's an unfair question when people are like, "Yo, like, what's your favorite <laughs> thing ever?" It was just it was a lot in. Um, also, just not realizing that like Pharrell produced like most of my fucking childhood. Everything, like everything, yeah, everything I, all my favorite songs from like when I was a kid are like Neptune's based. They're mm -hmm. like you know what I mean. So it was a lot of like rap, pop. The radio station was always bumping fucking everything from Kings of Leon, Kings to, like, of Leon to Lady Gwen Stefani to, to, to No to, Doubt, yeah. Fall Out Boy to Fifty Cent. Yeah. Like Lil John's Yeah Fall is like one of my earliest childhood yeah. memories. Just Team not about Triple X, X, Burlington, Plattsburgh. Pizza, eight times down. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. 7.30 yeah. so a.m. It was, it was literally like either Pharrell or Benny Blanco. Yeah, it's like Pharrell or Benny Blanco or... Whether it was Maroon 5, or Timbo. Or yeah, Timbo. Timbo. Whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Maroon 5 was huge. And then, yeah. All right, Aiden. What did you think of Samba when you first met him? I think I thought... I don't know. I, you just seemed like you had your shit together. I guess. Then I did? I don't know. But you know what? You know what? No. <laughs> That's not true. No I lied. I, I, I was like, what I thought was like, I was just really intimidated, I think. So I was just like fucking scared. And I I was mostly just like in my own body. Just like, I, I, I think what it was, was I think you and Sam instantly gave me the impression that you were just trying to fucking figure it out. And you didn't really know what you were doing. And that's why I stayed. I yeah. Think. No, that's definitely super you know? fair. Like, like, it, and it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that you didn't know what you were doing. It felt like you knew what you were doing but it didn't feel like you were an expert mm. and I, I, I that made me feel more comfortable so i think that's probably just that like you were you, you were trying to figure something out and like you cared about it a lot mm. nice yeah that's one thing i'd take away i don't know that's a tough one i, I, feel I don't like know we, we struggle with patience a little bit for sure in my opinion patience like, across yeah. the board i just think that like i mean it's not like without well, what would you justification away, impatience. the impatience the impatience yeah mm -hmm. like or the, or the you know yeah sometimes yeah, sure. i think we get caught up in like 
instant gratification. That or we're like, out here for like been out here for like two years, you know. So yeah, think, but that, that's my that's just me. I'd say our capacity to like talk ourselves out of things. We do that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, like talking ourselves out of thinking that something's a good idea that we might have previously thought it was just because we're over analyzing stuff and sometimes it's like totally justified mm. but i do think that we sometimes like limit ourselves by doing that too definitely yeah, yeah it's, good. it's like a fear of failure yeah, exactly What's your favorite childhood meal Ooh. um it's like a very like grandma thing she made like a really good chicken soup and then mm. uh my mom made like like a meatloaf and usually when i think of like meatloaf it's like gross like i fucking, lo- I fucking love meatloaf I mean, like, hers was smacking bro mm-hmm. like i'm a meatloaf fan yeah, me too nice little, and crispy good, around yeah. the edges yeah, yeah. You just can't oh, have damn. no yeah, gray oh, pallid no nah. unseasoned meatloaf. Yeah. Nah, yeah. i fucking love a good no meatloaf. retirement home meatloaf yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, uh, my mom and my grandma cooked a lot and that trait was not passed on but i'm glad they yeah we know <laughs> jerry we're gonna get there bro we're gonna get there we're gonna get there <laughs> Start, Box at a time, man. <laughs> just start spicing you can that. Use up. Uncle Ben's for now. Yeah. <laughs> How has your relationship to music changed over the course of this album? I don't know. It's definitely like taking a course working just like under a major label. Um, everything that comes with that, you know, it's it's not like easy, but it's also not the hardest. But it's definitely like made me realize like who I am and what kind of music I can make. Personally, I don't know. I definitely feel like I'm more self-conscious now, real shit, yo. I feel like I like look at my music and I'm like, oh, that's ass, way more than I think. Damn, that's good. But Is it more self-conscious <laughs> or self-aware? I don't know if I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> right. Finding new music is interesting too in this lane because now it's like you're in the same industry as them too. So it's like you like have a similar member on your like outside team with them and you're like oh shit like i wonder if that could ever happen you know but it's definitely interesting being from where we were to where we are now but yeah if you could eliminate all the hair from one part of your body what <laughs> body part would that be i mean i'm not like a really hairy person like come on jared no yeah. it's like come on jared no. them cheeks hairy yeah like, that's what i was just gonna yeah. say like that's number oh, yeah, one my ass hair? Yeah. yeah yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. So you passing up an yeah. opportunity. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you passing up. You gotta get this man's a Brazilian just cause now. <laughs> shit. No, bro. I'm dead. Yeah. Fucking ass there is mad annoying. Boom. There you go. Boom. Bro. See, it's yeah. Yeah. shit, bro. Thanks, man. Proud of you. Put that shit on wax, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been scared of heights. And that didn't stop me I woke up with EMTs trying to find a beat cause it dropped me